my friends, welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be going over more tools and accessories that I have here in the room and I use throughout the year. I have so many of these things that I started to uh, break these down into a little series so we can uh, go over all the little things and gadgets that they make here for making the hobby uh, more enjoyable, easier, make your life and model building easier. So uh, I randomly picked a bunch here, so let's go ahead and see what we got. First up, let's go here across. These are these are pen uh, glue pens from Mr. Hobby, and um, they let's see. Here's the word: lemonade, lemonade, lemonade. Can you guys tell me what that word? Pronounce that for me. It's uh, I think it's their word for lemon. It's got a lemony scent, both of them, and they're color coordinated because of they have different size tips. Look at that. That's a really tiny tip. And that's a much bigger tip. If you're going to be uh, putting some paint along here, I mean the paint, some glue, you can even see that it went on. Look at it. See, it's all shiny. Look at that. So, uh, yeah, these come in really handy, particularly if you're traveling. Sometimes Some guys like to uh, they build... When they have group builds, instead of bringing all their stuff and their glues and all that, this is great to have. I mean, this will get it done. Again, you don't have to really glue most Gundams, but parts do pop off, and it's good to have some glue on your bench. And for guys that aren't building cars and whatnot, and mostly build Gundam, a lot of them don't have glue. So this is good to have. It takes up no room. It's got two different sizes. They're cheap. Um, they don't stink. They smell, you know, citrusy. So, yeah, these are really nice to have. Next up is a product from Excel, American company. I believe they're in Jersey. Yep, New Jersey. Patterson, New Jersey. Now, this is only 5 bucks for these two. I got a whole bunch of these, but these, these little clamps are terrific. All right, we'll go ahead and grab that. There's a plain fuselage right here from a, looks like it's an A-10 tank killer. Very old kit. So... Instead of using elastic bands and whatnot, because you're going to put your glue along here, you get these clamps. And then this is the wedge that holds it in. And there you go. And that's just one thing you can use on. You could use it on, and uh, because you got multiples in one box, you could put another one here, one up front. And then you're going to go across with your glue. You know, with this, I wouldn't use the pens. I would go ahead and use this type of glue, where you're just going to brush it right across. Well, look at that. Isn't that terrific? They work on anything. They hold it well. To release it, just pull it back. Fantastic. That is from Excel. Those are my little blue clamps. They make a big one, too. Like It's a $10 when it comes to two, but it's it's like a, almost a foot across. Same color and everything. They're identical, just like it's Big Brother. Um, this is a Flexi file. This is a sander. Check this out. It's a Canadian company. There's two of them here. I have the Stealth which is the bent one, see it? And here is, the. this is their normal model right here. This is about 20 bucks. It comes with sanding sheets and everything. I'm gonna show you how this works. Get all this out of here. That's good enough. Let's put this aside. And here's what you got. You take this, and you take your little sanding strips. It comes with these. One side is the sandpaper, one side is clear, see it, plastic. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to put one in here. All right, guys, I'm trying to do this from behind the camera, squeeze it a little bit. There it is, it locks in. You know, and I already had this one done. This one's bent. And this is their first model. This, oh, geez, look at that, we're launching it like a slingshot. See, guys, we don't edit this stuff, all on the fly. And there it is. Now, I'm taking this because I'm going to show you an example of, you know, one of the uses that it has. So I'm going to take this fuselage again. See it? Once it's done, can you see it? And it, and it bends over it. Instead of going across with a sponge or anything, it really, it, it'll shape to what you're sanding. And the stealth... It's a little more comfortable because I guess it, it gets your hand out of the way. Yep. And all kinds of uses. I'm just showing you here because I have the fuselage out. 
you know, already look. See, it's already smoothing it out. Look at that. So, yeah. Now, what it is is each color represents a different grit. Let's see if it says it on the package. Yeah, gray, fine, extra fine. No, no, gray is uh, regular. Tan is fine. And the red is extra fine. So, there you go. There's the three colors right there. And, uh, yeah, this is a really nice tool. I've had these a long time. And... Uh, I highly recommend it. It's it's I think it's 20 bucks. You get some sanding sheets with it. And I just I just like the way it works. It's a simple idea that really really works. And it works well, too. And uh, you can have buy them extra. I got a bunch of these, particularly the extra fine. But you can get the assortment that has all of the grits in it that you would want. All right? That is the Flexi file handy sander. All right? Next up my sharpen air. I showed this about a year ago, at least, on uh, how to sharpen your needle. I figured I'd go ahead and show this again. It's part of my gadgets series here, so let's go ahead and do it. There's the website if you want to go to it, sharpenair.com. <clears throat> what you have here is a sanding stone in here. You don't really access it. It's bolted together. And you have different sizes. And... Um, I think you can, through the website, we'll teach you mostly uh, what you're doing here, but I'm going to use a needle here just to show you guys. Certain ones are for certain needles, and that's why it's going to come in at a different angle. The bigger the needle, the greater the angle. And um, I basically I was taught from my friend who has one to go, he goes all the way across. You put this in, and you just spin. And you only have to spin it, yeah, five, ten times. But he'll start at the end, he taught me, and it goes all the way down to here. And that's all it takes. And you've got a sharpened, beautiful um, needle. And uh, I do this, uh, yeah, like every other month, I'll do it uh, almost quarterly. But you can feel this doesn't do anything. This is the one that I question. But uh, that one grabbed it a little bit. And that's it. It's very subtle. It's very subtle. But it works. It works really good. And uh, I've had no troubles at all using this, damaging my needles or anything. It just it works great. I, I do this along with polishing is what I do. I'll show you what I mean. Let me get the badger back together here. There we go. I'll use the flitz. Uh, po polish is what I what I'll do on the needle. So I will uh, sharpen it and then use the flitz and uh, polish it up, and then I'm good to go. I do that uh, like every other month with all my all my airbrushes. I'll go through all of them. It takes like 20 minutes. Great product. This is a sander stick from Excel. Same idea, kind of like this, but a much different shape. Let me show you what we got here. Now you can buy them color coded, and that just tells you what you're going to get in the package. So this is a 400 grit. It goes up to six, but you can buy the sandpaper sheets independently. And it's a sanding stick, of, again, lets you get into tight areas. And you can go like this. If you gotta go in a different shaped area, you can go rounded, uh, just flat. If you need to go here, you get a nice grip on it. And when you wanna change it, it's spring-loaded. And then when you wanna, when, you, when an end wears out, what you do is you just rotate the strip. See it? So let me take this off and show you what we got. And there it is. Just like a band, you know, a sand, a sand belt in a workshop. And then you put it back on. You just line it up. It squeezes in. And that's it. And you can buy all kinds. You can buy, again, a package like this with all different grits. It only goes up to 600, but... Um, that's uh, that's mostly what you need for what this is used for anyway. And, uh, I, I like it. It's like working with a pen. It's very precise. And these sanding tools are re really important. Sanding is, is a big deal with these, particularly with aircraft. You know. But uh, yeah, that's a great tool. This is from Excel, another American company. I believe... Uh, yeah, Excel is in Jersey, and I'm trying to see where Flexi... I get them confused sometimes. Flexi files from Canada. That's what it is. It's a Canadian company. But the distribution in America is, is pretty easy to get. 
get most of this stuff on Amazon too. I'll have links below for all of this. All right, here we go. This is a FlexiFile product again. And this is a glue applicator. Works kind of like a, a calligraphy pen. And look at that. It just holds a tiny, tiny a bit of glue. So you take your liquid glue. All right, make sure there's nothing on this. And you can just use it like that. And, but this is very more precise than your brush. Much more precise. This will just take out a drop. It holds the drop in the little fork there. See it? And that's it. Now this is, I've used this. Let me show you what I use it for. Rear view mirrors on cars are a pain. Particularly, you don't want this to run down. So what I do is I use this. And it gets me just a little bit that I need on the end of the mirror and putting it in. The inside mirror also. So any little fine parts where you don't want a lot of glue, very little will hold. This is what you want. It just holds that just right amount of glue. And uh, it's tough to show. I don't know if I can show it on this kit here. Let's see. It's tough to see on camera. It just puts out a little drop. You know, and you can clean it with acetone when you're done or paint thinner. Or it can burn right off if you put a little match on it. It burns right off. And look how new it's been. I mean, I use this all the time. Look at it. It's a great little product to have. Uh, it's like 10 bucks, but you'll use it constantly if you're doing a lot of gluing. And uh, because of that, it's, uh, it's well worth its weight in gold. This thing is really a unique, nice product. Um, I tried using a calligraphy pen, but it, it, you know, it's, it's working with ink, and it lets too much out. It just let too much glue out. So this was the way to go. I tried to not get away with not using it, and I ended up using it. And, I mean, I ended up getting it. But that's it. It's a FlexiFile CA applicator. CA glue. Yep. Yeah. All right. And at the end here, I figured I'd show you. I've used this in a few videos. This is my Tamiya anti-static brush. Now I never went into details with this. It has two purposes. Uh, it gets the dust off of my car kits. In particular my car kits because uh, before I go to paint them it's the most area of product that I would paint. And uh, I just hit it with this and it's got anti-static so it will get most of the dust off if not all of it. I'll blow it off too with the airbrush but this is a good final hit because of its anti-static capability. And then I'll go ahead and uh, I'll paint the model. Now, the other feature of this is you can clean your models with it. I mean, uh, I don't have any big Gundams over here. Where is it? It's out of reach. Anyway, you can clean off your kits, and you have ones that are particularly dusty. Check this out. Look at that. you got this smaller, very sensitive little brush. Now, this will go in and clean out even your little panel lines and everything. And you can really get your kits, if they're not on the glass, you go over them, you know, once every couple months and get all the dust so they don't really build up and kill your kit, you know? And uh, that's pretty handy. It's in the other end. See that? It's hidden most of the time. I've never shown it because, well, on camera, I would probably just be dusting off the car. And there you go. Now, to keep it protected, I get it in here. And we're just going to, I got to get this close to me so I can grab it. There we go. And you get the pouch in reverse. You just pull her up, and it keeps it protected. And, uh, yeah, this, to me, an anti-static brush is great. Dual purpose, and uh, use it all the time. I'm always airbrushing. I'm always dusting off. And uh, on, off camera, a lot of times, I, I'm using this constantly. When I'm doing a spoon, you know, I'm, I'm, not <laughs> I'm not dusting off the spoons, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's it. There you go. There's a few more tools, the uh, glue pens, the clamps. The, sand, the handy sander from FlexiFile, the sharpener, needle sharpener for your airbrush, the glue applicator, and the sanding stick from Excel, and the anti-static brush from Tamiya. There you go, guys. Now, coming up, we have the gold video. I'm testing all the gold paints to see what goes good to cover up the gold on the, your gold-plated kits from Bandai. Uh, one product just showed up while I'm doing the video. I heard the door. And uh, I'm still waiting for one. There's a brand new marker I heard that has a 
a good look to it, a chrome look to it that should cover up what we're doing. So I, I want to test everything. I don't want to leave it out. That's why I keep putting the video off. I'm waiting for two more products to show up. One actually showed up today. So that will be up. That might be the next video, actually. And um, the next test of tools will be, as I said, for panel lining. I have all kinds of tools for panel lining. I got a new display, panel liner pen, uh, all kinds of stuff. So I got new scribers, little uh, guides. That's going to be the next, you know, tool and accessory video. And uh, I got one more thing to show you guys. Let me pause the camera and let me show you what's coming up for a review. All right, guys, I'm coming over the top, over the top. Look at this. I've always wanted to test side feed airbrushes, and here I got three of them. The Sparmax side feed. See the cups? This is a .5 needle and nozzle. Check this out. And I'm going to, I might do them all in one video, too, and it's a trigger type. There's one. A Grex. Wow, this is heavy. Look at that. It's like the Grex I use all the time on camera, but it's side feed. And you could do left or right side feed. Fantastic. Look at that. So, that's number two, side feed. And number three, an Evolution from Hunter and Steinbeck. Another side feed airbrush. And this works both ways. It's got the cups, so you can hang it off like a siphon feed. And it has the, the gravity feed cups also. So those three are coming up soon. I've always wanted to try and test side feed airbrushes and I finally can. And as a bonus, I have this Sparmax. This is their entry level airbrush. This is a very inexpensive airbrush and um, my friend highly recommended this. And we're going to try this beautiful quality airbrush. Sparmax makes the airbrushes for Tamiya. It's a Taiwan company, Taiwanese company, but this is high quality stuff, particularly for the price point. So we're going to be testing this out too as a good entry level airbrush that uh, my friend uses all the time and he has a bunch of airbrushes I want everything and he uses this the most and uh, so I wanted to try it so we also have this as our normal airbrush test too so we got four airbrush tests coming up and uh, unique that they're side feed so I'm very excited for that anyway guys thank you so much for sticking through the video please like it if you haven't already subscribe if you haven't already that's a big deal we have more to come including a nice paint test uh, I haven't revealed yet and I might have more colors coming to my paint line. So lots of stuff happening. But the next tool test will be all panel lining and scribing. And then uh, we're going to have the gold test. And then we're going to start testing some of these side feed airbrushes. And then along the way, i got a bunch of paints to go, including Magic Dust. These color shifters. This is the third box in the trilogy of Vallejo shifters, which are really good paints. Anyway, guys, that is all for today. Have a good rest of your week. We'll see you in a few days with another video. God bless.